Hello and welcome to the world of film photography. In this video, we'll be learning about the process of film photography, from choosing the right camera or film to developing the final prints. Film photography has been around for over 150 years and is still a popular choice for many photographers today. There are a few reasons for this. First, film photography gives you a physical negative that you can hold in your hand. Second, it forces you to slow down and think about each shot rather than just snapping away. And third, it has a certain charm and character that digital photography just can't match. So let's get started. When it comes to cameras, there are two main types, SLR and point and shoots. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to choose the right one for your needs. SLR cameras are generally more advanced than point and shoots, but they offer a number of benefits. For starters, they allow you to change lenses, which gives you more control over the type of photos you take. They also give you more control over settings like aperture and shutter speed, which means they can be more versatile in some situations. Point and shoot cameras, on the other hand, are small and lightweight tools that are easy to take with you wherever you go. These cameras typically lack the ability to change features like shutter speed or aperture, which limit their potential. Some point and shoots have automatic features though, like autofocus, which make them a great choice for snapping quick photos. After selecting a camera, you will need to determine what speed film you need. 35mm film most commonly comes in different ISO increments of 200, 400, 800, and 1600. The lower the ISO number, the less sensitive the film is to light, while a higher ISO number means the film is more sensitive. What does this mean? Well, in general, lower ISOs are better for daytime shots, while higher ISOs are better for low light situations. So when you're getting ready to take pictures, make sure you're taking the right ISO film for the right situation. Once you choose your film and load it into your camera, you're ready to start taking images. What makes shooting on film so enjoyable for so many people is the patience required to get the right shot. You'll need to dial in your settings and get the framing right, and then you've just taken your first film photo. When you get through your entire film roll, you'll need to develop your film in a dark room. The dark room is where the magic happens. To develop film, you need three things. Film developer, stop bath, and fixer. You also need water and some kind of container to mix everything in. First, you load your film into the reel and then into the development tank. Then, you mix up your developer according to the instructions and pour it into the tank. The film is left to develop for a certain amount of time, typically between three to five minutes. Once that time is up, you pour out the developer and replace it with the stop bath. The stop bath halts the developing process and makes sure your photo doesn't turn overly contrasty or foggy. After a few minutes in the stop bath, you drain it and you add the fixer. The fixer makes your photo permanent and ensures that it won't fade over time. The film has now been fully developed, and in order to turn it into an image, you will need to put photo paper under an enlarger and cast a light through developed film which projects your image onto the photo paper. And voila! You've created an image without the assistance of digital needs. Thanks for watching and good luck shooting.